I'd like you to draw this diagram twice because I'm going to do this question twice and I'll show you why. So, draw yourself this kind of um, upside down L shape. Draw me a pair of them and put all of the measurements that they provide. You can put them on. I don't need There is a long weekend. Okay. Shh. Now I know I know people are not always fans of drawing diagrams, which honestly oh, makes me a bit sad. Because diagrams are so awesome. They pack so much information into such a small space. Um, I think you're kind of kidding yourself to try and do these questions uh, accurately without diagrams. So if you draw them there. Uh, I'm going to do this two different ways, and we're going to give them names after we've done it. Um, but if you have another colour, this will be enormously useful. So this is a composite area. I want to work out the area of this L-shaped type object. So here's method number one. What I'm going to do first is I see that this weird L-shape is kind of made up of two rectangles that have been jammed together. Yeah? Now, you can think about it a couple of different ways, but I'm going to put a line here like so. So I have a wide a rectangle and a tall rectangle. And in order to describe them, I want to give them names because um, they're both rectangles. So I can't say this rectangle, that rectangle. So I'm going to call this one R1 for rectangle 1. And I'm going to call this one R2 for rectangle 2. You can name them anything you like. These are your names. But I think that way it's pretty unambiguous. If you had triangles, you can call T1, T2, etc. Whatever you like. So now that I've got some areas designated, I'm just going to work them out one at a time. So the area of R1, well, what's the formula for the area of a rectangle? Length times breadth. Length times breadth, right? So I have a length here, that's 3. I'll write that down first. I don't have a breadth that's been actually put onto the diagram for me, so I kind of have to work it out. It's this distance here, and it's... Seven. How did you work out that it was seven? Good, so you've got this whole length 10, and you're taking away the three that gets told you down here, right? So three by seven, three by seven is not hard. So this is 21 square centimeters, and I'm going to rinse and repeat for the second rectangle. Uh, this time, because of the way I've chopped it up, I actually do have the length and breadth of rectangle two, so I'm just going to write three by 14. Uh, 3 by 14, I think, is 42? 42. 42 square centimeters. Okay, so you've got all your pieces. This is a nice simple one to begin with. There's only two, so I'm done. Now I'm going to say, therefore, the total area equals, uh, that looks like 63 square centimeters. And you're done. Okay, so this is not complicated. As you can see, you probably could have worked out this number, like directly with just one equation. But I'm going to say, as you get to more complicated shapes, having been able to break them up and go through them systematically becomes more and more advantageous to you. So, that's how I did it the first way. We'll give that a name in a minute. Coming to the second instance that you draw in this um, rectangle, I'm again going to put um, a dotted line here, but I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to draw my dotted lines over here. Okay. So remember how we said, oh look, this is two rectangles that have been added onto each other. You can also think of it as a big rectangle with a smaller rectangle cut out of it. Yeah. So again, if I can work out the big one and then work out the small one, then I just find the difference. So I'm going to call the big one um, R1 this time. I'm going to use the same labels. Again, you can call them anything you like. You can call them big R and little R. Right? And I'm going to call this one R2. Uh, okay, what's the area of this big rectangle? 140. Yeah, 140, which of course comes from 10 by 14. So I'm just going to pocket that away. And when I work out this smaller rectangle, I've got to do what I did before and say, oh, well, this is 7. What's this distance? This is 14, take away 3, yeah? So 11. So I'm going to say 7 times 11, that's 77 square centimeters. Okay. Now importantly, because I'm combining these areas in different ways, I'm not going to add them like I did over here. I'm going to subtract them. So I'm going to do 140, take away 77. But again, because it's still the same shape, 
and you can confirm this on your calculator, you will still get 63 square centimeters. Okay, so let's give these things some names. Here, I was adding up rectangles. And here, I was subtracting rectangles. So I like to call this one by addition. And I like to call this one, no prizes for guessing, by subtraction. No prize? <laughs> I will point out as well, depending on the shape that you have, right? Sometimes you can combine these different methods. Let's just have a look over here, for example. If you have a look at this one, that's no, just a little bit too big. Oh yeah, stop. Let's get rid of that. Um, have a look at this shape for a second. And think about how you might slice this up, right? How would you go about doing it? And remember, there's lots of different ways, just like I showed you over here. There's lots of different ways that are equally valid. Which way will you choose? Okay, so how would I do it? How would you like to do it if I just said, let's add things up? Yeah, ready? Or did you want to suggest something else? I was going to suggest doing the combination. Okay, so how would you like me to slice it up? Um, slice up the 5 centimeter by 8 cm. 5 by 8, you mean this yeah, one? Yeah, good. And then add the little thing on the side. Yes. Which the little thing? <laughs> you mean this one? Oh, right. That's yep, you see it? Oh, sorry, oh. sorry. It's harder than it looks, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, is that what you meant? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here you can work out, all right, this one will be 5 by 8. You can work out what that is. Um, what are we going to get here? What's this distance? Have a look, careful. Looks like 3 plus 9, yeah? So that's 12, going this way. What's this distance? Yeah, it's 10 plus 5, 15. And you already know what this one is. This is 10 by 9. So doing this a little bit quickly, I guess I would say the total area is equal to... All right, we started with this guy, 5 by 8. I'm going to add this big one here, which is, what is it again? 12 by 15. And then I'm going to subtract... 10 by 9. Now I don't know what that's equal to, but I'm pretty confident that'll give you the right answer. Clearly you could divide it up different ways. I mean, just like we put this vertical line in here, you could put a vertical line in here, you could slice it up, whichever way you like. The important thing is, you have something like this. Like, if you've got multiple areas, give them names. Tell me which one's which. Don't call them this rectangle and that rectangle, or the big rectangle and the somewhat less big rectangle, and don't, don't do that. Just give them names. Um, if you want to, but then you have to remember what shape John is and what shape Steve is. Why not just call them? If you say so. Um, and then as well, when you combine them, be careful and tell me the way that you combine them. Some of them are added, some of them are subtracted. Actually tell me what's going on. 